Um, hello everyone. In this video we're going to talk about polynomial operations by finding difference of two perfect squares and we're also going to discuss the sum and difference of cubes. Take a look at this example here. This product is called a difference of two squares and can be used to factor uh, anything using the same pattern. Notice that this is called difference of squares, not sum. We must have a minus sign in between uh, both of our monomials in order to simplify. Remember, if we are simplifying, we're finding out what number was squared minus the other number squared in order to create, in this example, an A minus B and A plus B as our factors. Take a look at the following for each example. Remember, during this video, you can pause and try these examples first uh, and then go through the video. X squared minus 36. One of the things we want to look at is what squared will give us 36. In this case, x squared is fine. 36 will become 6 squared. That'll leave us with x minus 6 and x plus 6 as our factors. Try the next one on your own and see if you can get it. In this next example, t squared minus 100, perfect square of 10. So in this case, we have t minus 10 and t plus 10. Sometimes we'll have numbers in front as well. For instance, if you look at this example number 3, we've got 9x squared minus 4. In this case, we're really working with 3x squared and 2 squared. So in this case, we'll get 3x minus 2 and 3x plus 2. Now, this extra step that I've been doing, I'm going to highlight in yellow here, uh, is not necessarily always needed. Uh, some of you might be able to jump right into seeing that that is a 3 and a 2, and then writing your answer. Uh, and that's fine. I just like to show that little extra step for some work. Look at this next problem here. This is really 5c squared minus 8 squared. So 5c minus 8 or 5c plus 8. Just as a reminder, you can only do these types of steps whenever you have a minus and perfect squares on each side. Next example, 81 is really 9. 49 is 7. So y. Uh, think of it as x squared, you really have two x's, and y squared, you really have two y's. In this case, this is 9x minus 7y. We're splitting the x and y's uh, in between factors. Uh, and then our last example here for these, uh, this is really 4c squared minus 3d squared. Let's get our answer, 4c minus 3d and 4c plus 3d. Sometimes you have to take out a common factor and then create a difference of two perfect squares. For example, in number 7, 8 and 50 are not perfect squares. But 8 and 50 both have numbers in common. They both have 2. If I can factor out a 2 first and then get 4y squared minus 25. 4 and 25 are both perfect squares. So in this case, I have 2 times 2y minus 5 and 2y plus 5. Take a look at example number 8. This is our last for perfect squares. 28 and 7 are not perfect squares. However, if you take a look, uh, they both have 7 in common. So I'm going to pull that out front. So now I have 4k squared minus 1. 1 is a perfect square of itself. 4 has 2, so 2k minus 1 and 2k plus 1. So that's pretty much it for uh, the difference of squares. Now let's move on to sum or difference of perfect cubes. In these cases, uh, we want to look for numbers that have cubes, perfect cubes, and there's either a sum, which means a plus sign in between, or a difference, which is a minus sign in between. 
In these instances, we actually break it down into its base of what the cube would be and use this uh, simplified equation in order to solve. Take a look at example number one, x cubed plus 64. Based on our observations here, uh, x cubed is in its simplest form. 64 is really 4 cubed. So in this case, in this type of situation, if we're looking at these uh, and it's plus, this is the same as saying a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. Make note of this, that really a is equal to x. In this case, b is equal to 4. From there, we get our answer of x plus 4 times x squared plus or minus 4x plus 4 squared which can then simplify into x plus 4 times x squared minus 4x plus 16. That is our final answer. Take a look at example number 2. Here's the perfect situation of the difference. Uh, since it is minus, we are looking at the a cubed minus b cubed, which is a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So, of course, we want to look at our a is our x value. Our b, in this case, is going to be 5, because 5 cubed gives us 125. So this now becomes x minus 5 times x squared uh, plus x times 5 plus 5 squared, which can be simplified into x minus 5 times x squared plus 5x, switching those around, uh, plus 25. Example number three that we have, uh, notice that there is actually a coefficient that's greater than one out front. That's the eight. Uh, since this is a plus, we are looking at a cubed plus uh, b cubed, because eight and 27 are both perfect cubes. In this case, though, a is going to be equal to 2x, and b is going to be equal to 3. So now we can use our equation, which again, I'll rewrite. It's a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. We have 2x plus 3 times 2x squared minus 2x times 3 plus 3 squared. Gives us our final answer once we simplify. It's 2x plus 3 times 4x squared minus 6x plus 9. Last example here. Uh, we don't have any numbers out front, uh, but we do have two variables this time. Uh, we have our minus sign, so this is uh, a cubed minus b cubed scenario. A, in this case, is going to be x, y squared, and b is going to be 4. So again, our formula, a minus b, a squared plus AB plus B squared. So we've got uh, XY squared minus 4 times XY squared all squared plus XY squared times 4 plus 4 squared. 
this will finally simplify into uh, xy squared minus 4 times uh, x squared y to the fourth plus 4xy squared plus 16. We chose the xy squared because uh, y to the sixth, we're essentially taking and dividing that by three in order to get our y squared. Uh, that's all for these notes. Make sure that you complete the homework assignment that is given for, uh, for these notes.